peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading, beloveds. I've missed you all. I will you all are enjoying your day off, if you had one. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I welcome each and every one of you beautiful souls that may be tuning in and tapping in for the first time. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I am also clairaudient. So during this reading, the way that I do things on my side is I play music and uh, channel the messages. So the way that it works is the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on this clock. It will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards maybe showing, and it all blends very beautifully. My spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if the reading doesn't apply, let it fly by. Know that you are more than just your sun sign, so check your moon, check your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. If you enjoy this reading, if your energy vibes with mine, if you enjoy the songs that I play, don't be shy. Hit the subscribe. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? To all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. So let's see what time we have on the time clock. So it is currently 8 57 and that 857 breaks down to 11 because the 8 and 5 is 13 that 4 plus that 7 is 11 so justice you're getting your just due I'm hearing because we have Nas playing right now on the playlist and this is called 10 points so I feel like you all may have scored 10 points, like you're 10 points ahead of the game. I feel like 10 is a number of completions. So you've just wrapped up a cycle. You've just transformed. You've done your, your little transform. You've transformed like Voltron. You know, something has come full circle. There's a sense of like growth. You know, I'm feeling like there was a growing pain of some sort. Tens are endings, but every ending denotes a new beginning because that 10 then reduces to one. So that one is giving me an energy of you being on the precipice of some brand new start, some brand new beginning. So I feel like whatever you're doing, whatever you're embarking upon, I feel like things are going to turn around in your favor. I feel like a lot of this has to do with perhaps some of the things you may have endured in your path in your past and it's brought you and led you to this point to this pinnacle point in your life as we just saw it was 11 and that 11 comes before the 10 I mean comes after the 10 so after an ending is a new beginning perhaps you're making a decision on which direction you would like to embark upon you know you could be in two minds choosing between between two different places um because that two that we get with the 11 is also giving me a sense of like now there's a decision to be made or a decision to be had. Uh, perhaps there's even love coming in. The 10 points is like, you know, that's an, a, a plus, an add. So perhaps that 10 is not necessarily denoting an ending, but it could be den denoting some sort of uh, fulfillment emotionally, feeling fulfilled emotionally, because I'm seeing like the Ten of Cups, uh, perhaps being fulfilled financially, feeling a sense of family, um, coming into union with a divine counterpart, a cosmic companion. The Eleven is two ones, and two ones is giving me the sense of you uh, attracting a like mind, someone who's also been through a dark night of the soul journey, learned many lessons, and have wrapped up karmic cycles, uh, and is now embarking upon 
some fresh new st st new start. So you could be attracting someone with the two of, because uh, I'm seeing the two of cups uh, as well. Uh, so, you know, when you heal uh, and learn to love yourself, then you begin to attract others that will uh, appreciate that that vibrant way, that radiant way in which you sh are showing up in the world. And uh, so I feel someone definitely is also uh, realizing uh, that there is another like them out there in the world when they bump into you because they see you as a like mind. They see you as, you know, someone that they can give to equally. There will be some equal exchange um, of love, of time, of energy, uh, being willing to build, to cultivate, to nurture a connection. Uh, so this is definitely like I'm getting the Two of Cups energy as well. Um, and maybe you'll have options, you know, you'll have to choose, you'll have to decide. Uh, so we're going to tap in and see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. We have New Edition NE Heartbreak. So a lot of you are coming after, uh, you know, coming out of, I should say, uh, some sort of heartbreak, some sort of, as I said, a com karmic completion, some sort of ending, wrapping up a karmic cycle. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have new beginning. And I'm just going to shuffle again because we just had the... Um, Claire audience message and that card came out so it is possible that I did not uh, shuffle the deck so I want to shuffle again just so we could get a fresh energy divine spirit of peace power and protection what messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios and I'm a shuffle and then I'll get the card that's on the bottom and then I'll proceed with the split so what we have is 11 I'm sorry 14 moderation so changes 14 is showing me that there's been some changes there's been some growing there's been some healing there's been some learning I also feel like you have not been communicating very much with the outside world like you've been doing a lot of internal work focusing on your wellness your health your happiness your peace this is really you know an energy of learning growing researching, investigating. Uh, this is a scholarly energy. This is you really focus on self-improvement. Uh, this is you searching within yourself uh, to find the answers. This is also seeking a wise counsel from elders, perhaps from master teachers, pastors, preachers. Uh, perhaps you're speaking to matriarchs or patriarchs within your own family uh, but this is something that you are uh, realizing you need to change maybe you're tapping into your divinity as a divine feminine or masculine and you are sharpening your sword you're building you know creatively or artistically you're building your skill set uh, you could be you know learning to really express your truth right now uh, standing your ground and not backing down. Uh, so you could be speaking your truth more. You could be opening up your throat chakra more and expressing your truth and not backing down, not biting your tongue, not holding back, but standing your ground and speaking what's true for you, not allowing other people to, to silence you or to uh, bully you or manipulate you. It's like this is the moderations and the changes you're making for the better. Uh, and this could also just be, you know, as I said, you really uh, tapping into your divinity creatively and artistically. Uh, so that's beautiful. On the split, we have 74 nature. So that is 11. And we just saw that number 11. So that nature is telling me that things become very balanced and grounded and in alignment when you are out in nature. You may be someone who has a lot of earth in their chart or you just really like to meditate. You may like to do yoga or tai chi or uh, qigong out in nature. Maybe you have a little backyard or some sort of terrace and you may do, you know, wake up early in, you know, the a.m. 
and just do yoga. Maybe you, uh, you know, sit and, you know, utilize some of the mudras. Um, but I just feel a sense of connectivity, connecting to your higher self. Maybe you wake up in sun gaze. Uh, you know, you take that time to really uh, wake up with the sun uh, so that you can be in equilibrium, in harmony with Mother Nature, Mother Gaia. Uh, Spirit is also saying get out in nature. This will help you to heal from certain pains, certain traumas, certain disappointments. Uh, with the 14 and the 5, the 5 and the 7, D4, that reduces to um, to 7. Because this 5 and this 2 reduces to 7. So I do feel like there's been a lot of growing, a lot of healing um, that's been taking place. Uh, personal growth is what I'm hearing very loudly in my mind's eye. Um, I'm also hearing that you are very sensitive uh, to energies. Some of you all can speak energy. Some of you all can feel energy. You can be empaths. Um, but I strongly get a sense of you like really trusting your intuition or really trusting your inner gumption, being someone very mindful um, to not go against whatever it is that you're feeling. It's like you go with that gut instinct. Um, the seven is also telling me that there's some sort of triumphant movement ahead. So you could be asserting yourself. Uh, maybe there's someone coming towards you who is uh, very confident, very attractive, and very sure, um, very matter of fact about what they want. I feel there's love here because uh, this, this green is the color of the heart chakra. Maybe you are moving ahead uh, with some of your plans, some of your business plans. Maybe you may feel like your hard work hasn't paid off. And I feel with the seven, you know, that seven of pentacles, like you've been just really working tirelessly uh, and, and you may feel like your hard work hasn't paid off as of yet, or you feel almost like, um, you know, discontent with where you may be in your life. Uh, I'm also getting a sense that there's perhaps, as I said, like, you know, someone rushing towards you, uh, or maybe you finally uh, getting into equilibrium because that's giving me the chariot. Uh, so there's something that brings things into perspective. Maybe you receive a download. Maybe you have a vivid dream or a lucid dream. Uh, maybe you've just received some sort of divine intervention from spirit, either through synchronicities, maybe your animal totem bumped into your, you know, onto your path, or maybe there's certain number synchronicities that you are seeing. Maybe there's certain songs that are playing. Uh, maybe there's certain sensations you may feel. Whatever it is, I feel like spirit has, you know, almost like awakened you to some truth and you become very aware. Uh, and you take action because I see, you know, like the chariot moving forward uh, and the chariot is is there's a yes answer with that chariot because it's already made that uh, or taken that time to really contemplate, uh, to really strategize, to ensure that there's this harmony, this balance within the self. And then it goes full steam ahead. So there's a sense of, as I said, uh, a triumphant outcome. Uh, maybe some of you all are looking at new vehicles. I'm seeing Kia. So some of you all could be looking to purchase like a, a SUV, um, a Kia. Uh, maybe some of you all are just traveling. Uh, you'll be traveling soon. You've taken some time, you know, uh, to go and vacay, uh, you know, to go get a Wusa. Maybe you're going and traveling to the beach. But I do get a sense of like um, there's some there's some positive movement forward. I also get a sense of like someone asserting themselves and coming towards you as well. Um, and also be uh, be more receptive. Don't be so guarded. Don't be so rigid because I feel like some of you all could be potentially blocking um, blessings and opportunities. So we have the nine completion here on the bottom of the deck. And there's a couple of cards that flew out. What did I say about a completion, a karmic completion? So you all have wrapped up a karmic cycle, just as I've mentioned. And we also have teaching and learning. So you could be the student and the teacher at the same time. And we have love partnership. So this is beautiful. And what we see here is there has been some karmic lessons that have been learned 
and there have been some there's been someone who has been learning as well so as i said you could be the student and the teacher at the same time uh perhaps you are attracting someone that has also been through similar life lessons uh they've been through similar experiences have had to persevere through similar terrain uh whether it was disappointment in love breakups there's this sense of someone really reflecting and looking at things from a different perspective a different vantage point maybe they are observing you from a distance and they see that you have had some major major change some major transformation in your life and this has really inspired another person how they feel about you because what you have here is overall energy is karmic completion so as i said wrapping up a cycle then we have the teaching and learning so whatever you're attracting to you they're observing and watching you that 12 breaks down to three because the 57 breaks down to 12 so that's that person that's really observing you and seeing you in a whole new light or seeing life from a different um, they're having a different perception of life um, they're diff having a different even um, desire you know they, they feel inspired they feel uh, motivated they feel encouraged they feel you know they feel like they want to transform, you know, change uh, for the better, you know, and it's, it's because they're watching you. This is allowing even someone, you know, who's going through a dark night of the soul journey, um, you know, maybe they're reflecting on themselves. This is that pause, that spirit, uh, you know, puts you in. This is a sacrificial position where you, you take that pause and you assess, you look back in awareness, you know, and you start to, you know, assess your circumstance. You observe, you know, and you observe not to judge, but you observe to really learn from the experience. And whatever you learn, you, you, you take it, you take it with you to that next junction in your life. Um, but that 12 also breaks down to three. So this leads to self mastery. Uh, this was all destined. It was preordained. Um, so this tells me that you have had many, um, many things that have led you to self-resilience, self-determination, um, to independence. You've learned your independence is the foundation for, you know, your stability, your security, your overall happiness. This 10 and this three breaks down to four. So there could be a divine masculine that could be watching a divine feminine and learning from her, or there could be a divine feminine that watches a divine masculine's transformation and learns from him either way there is this very reciprocal energy um where you're feeding off of another person but also you know um that love and that that love that you're feeling you know that you're generating it's being poured right back to the source that you're getting that that energy from if that makes sense and that's what's birthing this so what you're attracting and how they feel about you is this 26 love partnership. This is definitely someone that wants to take action because they see you as a wish fulfillment. That 26 is eight. I feel this is someone that is coming towards you. Um, I feel like this is someone that really uh, sees you as a very special person, very confident, uh, someone who's been through a lot of growing pains. It's like you wear your scars, you know, very proudly. It's, it's like you, you know, you've turned whatever vulnerabilities that you've had into superpowers. You know, it, it takes confidence for that star uh, to be naked. That's just your energy, the, how they see you as someone who has bared their soul. You're being your authentic self. And not only that, but it's like you've learned to co-create with source in this process of healing yourself. Every great healer has to first heal themselves, and they see you as someone who has evolved, who has learned, who has grown, um, and who's wiser, who's stronger. Uh, this is someone that has a lot of hope. This is someone very optimistic. Um, this is also someone that is going to, I feel, surprise you. Uh, they may come in abruptly. You know, they may kind of just stumble in, <laughs> you know, uh, because I'm, I'm getting like the eight of wands. So that's like someone taking swift action. It's almost as if they see 
this time, this opportunity as the prime opportunity or ample opportunity. And they don't want to miss that window of opportunity because there is this, this feeling, this emotion of love, you know, um, and this is something that they are now uh, owning, you know, maybe this is something that is surprising and shocking even to them. But with this four and this eight, that breaks down to 12. And so that is that same person here, you know, that is like observing you. This is someone that's learning from you with the teaching and learning. Um, very beautiful energy. This is also giving me a sense of like they are, you know, strategizing because I get like the three of wands where they plan, they strategize, and then they take action. So it's like they're getting ready, set, and then they're going to come towards you. And that's what this eight is. There's a positive movement forward. And they do have love. You know, there is love. And there is a sense of like, them having an, an uh, epiphany of some sort because the 12 is the hangman. So these all reduce to 12. So that is the hangman. That is someone that sees you as a divine feminine or a divine masculine because that 12 breaks down to three. So they are attracted to you and drawn to you. They may see you as someone, as I said, who's reached that level of self-mastery, very wise, very nurturing, very loving, very maternal, powerful, um, very beautiful, a master manifester. Um, someone who could be co-creating with source, uh, someone who could be, you know, really reinventing themselves. Uh, maybe you are an entrepreneur. Maybe you are just going after your dreams. Uh, but whatever this is, they just see you in a light of, of um, beauty, strength, uh, wisdom, wise dome. So this is beautiful. So let's tap in. Let's see what else we have. So what I usually was going to do was I was going to pull five different cards from five different decks, but three cards spat out. So I just, I'm going to keep it that way. And then we shall proceed with, you know, I'll get a card for what's hidden in the energy and then another card from a different deck for the outcome. Right now we have love changes and this is um, Angela Bofield, uh, Amb Angela Winbush, excuse me featuring Kashif. So love changes. So there's about to be some love changes, especially with this love partnership here. As I said, you're attracting someone to you. And I've been getting a lot of new energy. I've even been hearing like past life love. So this is really the reason why there is this sense of familiarity that's coming up and this sense of like, you know, attracting a like mind, because this could very well be like a twin flame or soulmate or someone from a former life, a past life love that could be entering into your life. And that's why you may feel like you know this person because you have bumped into this person from former lifetimes. So that's beautiful. So what we have on the bottom of the deck, look what we have. We have cleansing. So it's time for a spiritual bath. I just did a, um, a little video uh, to you know perform a release ceremony. So some of you may, may need to do that. You know, this cleansing is really about purifying yourself, cleansing yourself from any attachments, from any, you know, anything that may be binding you or holding you back. You know, energy can can really anchor you, especially low vibrational energy, uh, especially if you're going through karmic completions. It's really important to, you know, refresh, recharge, rejuvenate your spirit. You know, going to bodies of water is also very clean, uh, you know, clearing uh, very healing. Um, and this allows you to just like have, you know, that, uh, that reset, uh, the, the ocean water is very healing. Uh, it cleans your skin. It, it, it's really, so if you have a beach close by, I would really, uh, encourage you to go to a beach and perform a release ceremony. Um, you could literally just write, you know, your feelings and just let it wash away in the shore. You could rip it up and put it in there um, or you can burn it, you know, and release the ashes in, you know, the wind. Uh, but there is this cleansing, you know, spirit is encouraging you to to, you know, do a deep cleanse, you know, whether you need to take a spiritual bath or go to a body of water like an ocean or a river or a lake and just let it go. Let it flow, beloveds. Uh, this will be very uh very much like a recharge. It will rejuvenate your energy, your spirit. You'll feel a spark. 
So on the split, we have responsibility. This is the high priestess, and this is cleansing. So spirit could possibly be uh, nudging you that you have someone, a high priestess, that could be doing uh, something to manipulate your energy. Perhaps there's some sort of spell work being done. Um, this could be something that's hidden, and that's why spirit is encouraging you to uh, you know, go to the water uh, and heal thyself. Um, you are a water sign, so this really is encouraging you to uh, trust your emotions as well, trust your intuition, I should say, as well. I was picking up on the fact that you all are very amplified, so this could just be speaking to you, um, you know, being very intuitive and needing to trust your intuition when it comes, uh, you know, to feeling heavy or feeling certain emotions that you know don't belong to you. Um, if you go out often, if you're around people, oftentimes those those energies, they can jump and hop off one person and, you know, attach itself to you. So that's why it's important, you know, to um, frequently take spiritual baths, frequently smudge not only yourself, but smudge your homes. You know, you could sprinkle salt around your homes, black salt around the front entrance of your home. Um, definitely you could wash your floors, mop your floors, you know, especially on a budget, like you can mop your floors with ammonia. Sprinkle a little bit of sea salt in there. Say, you know, a couple of prayers over it. Speak your intention as you're mopping and voila. Um, you can really put like protective oils. Um, take your protective oils, like if you have protection oils. Uh, and you could write some, you know, sigils on your windows of protection. Write sigils on your uh, front door. Um, if you have like a wreath or something that you hang on your front door, on the back of it, you can write a sigil or write a protective prayer. Uh, you could go to Psalms. The Psalms has so many prayers, um, protective prayers uh, that you can, you know, scribe and then just kind of, you know, place it right up in the entrance way of your uh, home, you know, just to protect yourself. So these are things that are coming up, obviously, uh, because spirit wants someone out there to hear that. But uh, also because there could potentially be someone um, like some sort of witch, some sort of practitioner, uh, someone hidden trying to do something. And spirit is telling you to, you know, be proactive, you know, stay ready so you don't have to get ready because there could potentially be someone trying to uh, block something, you know, maybe a hidden enemy or some sort. Uh, and we have Iman Amari singing energy, just as I'm speaking of that. So trust what you feel, you know, speak energy. Um, if your energy has been depleted, that is a sign that someone is manipulating it. Uh, if you feel any of those things, if you have found yourself um, having suicidal thoughts out of the blue, that is a spiritual attack. If you found yourself super depressed, unmotivated, um, just feeling lethargic, that is a sign that you have something attached to you. Um, if you have filled, you know, felt very um, stuck in your head, uh, the mind is the devil's playground. So get out of your head, get into your heart. Um, so if you feel any of that woe is me type of energy and you know usually that isn't your vibration, that's not how you rock, that is a sign you're being spiritually attacked. Take a spiritual bath. If you don't have a, you know, a big budget to go get all these oils and, you know, soaps and baths and washes and cleanses, you can literally take sea salt. If you have hyssop, that is excellent. If you have um, olive oil, that too, you could add to the bath. Um, but you have to make sure to cleanse yourself, speak your intention as you're cleansing yourself and do it several times until you feel lighter. If you um, also uh, would like, you could do like an egg cleanse. An egg cleanse, you take an egg out I usually use two for, you know, both halves of my body, the upper half, the bottom half. Um, but you could take two eggs. You could set them out for about four hours till they're room temperature. You can cleanse them with sage smoke, Palo Santo smoke. You could even rub a little bit of Florida water on it. Um, and you speak your intentions into it and speak and demand what you want. And you rub that from the crown chakra and work yourself all the way down. Um, and once you get to the bottom, the soles of your feet, you don't take it and go back up with that same egg. Once you get to the soles of your feet, you work with the next egg. So you could work two different eggs, one side of the body with one egg, one side of the body with the other egg. You could do that as well. Or you could do one half of the body, you know, the top half and then the bottom half with, you know, one and two eggs. So 
for some reason, spirit is telling me to tell you all that. So some of you all do absolutely need to take a spiritual bath. And look what we have here. This is why spirit is making me go in depth. See that? It says hex and then high priestess or high priest. So you all, there is some sort of hex. There is some sort of curse. But remember, you have karmic completion. So some of you all could have already been hexed and cursed or you could have already had some sort of... Um, you know, some sort of root work done to you, spell work done to you, and that is the karmic completion. So you may feel like there's been, you know, um, you know, almost like this, this weight lifted off your shoulders. Uh, and this has, you know, given you some sense of freedom because you've broken some sort of yoke, some sort of hex. And it says banishment here. So that means that this hex has been banished. So your angels and your guides are definitely protecting you, guiding you. And in my, um, in one of my decks, Archangel Mikael is the uh, number eight card. Uh, the, the card reduces to number eight. And so this eight here is also just giving me a sense of like Archangel Mikael is protecting a union or is protecting someone in this divine connection. So that's powerful. So let's tap in. Let's get some messages, spirit. So we have uh, Rick James, fire and desire. So you are definitely attracting someone that's very attracted, very, very, uh, I'm hearing mesmerized, intrigued, you know, they admire you. This is someone very, very, very attracted to you. So let's cut this deck, see what we got hidden in the energy from my beloved Scorpio spirit. Bottom of the deck will be the energy. And we have, what did I say? With fire and desire. You got fulfillment, chalice. This is the ace of cups in this deck. This is what's hidden. So the when you heal thyself, then you will attract, you know, love to you. You got to love you first. So love is that inside work, that inside job. And as I said, when you have this teaching and learning, that's a divine union, a divine connection, someone that wants to work their way in, to build, to nurture, to cultivate with you. This is someone that absolutely has a whole lot of love to give. Somebody that sees you as very attractive, very beautiful, especially with fire and desire playing. Someone's name could be Rick or James, first, middle, or last. But this Ace of Cups, remember I was saying with the ones, it's like the Ace of Cups, that's like the Ace of Wands with the new beginning. Like, so this is someone that really is, you know, asserting themselves. Someone that's really wants to show and prove, you know, wants to be very intentional. And this is someone that sees you as a like mind, you know. This is someone that absolutely sees you as a like mind. With this four and this eight, that 12 breaks down to three. So that's why this is someone that can see themselves, uh, you know, with you for the long haul. They can see you as a divine, you know, as their wife, as their husband, you know, someone that they can have that happy spouse, happy house with, that happily ever after. Someone that they could play with, lay with, you know, that homie lover friend vibes. On the bottom of the deck, we have rebirth, and it says Yule. So what did I say about your transformation? What did I say about you, you know, really evolving and, and emerging someone different? And this is what has, you know, motivated and encouraged others. This rebirth has really given you an opportunity to really show the world the real you, you know. Now you're being your genuine self, your authentic self. And that's more attractive. That's more attractive, beloved. So let's tap in. So let's see what we have from the Energy Oracle deck for, what, for the outcome. So let's see what we have. And look at the devil. This is what's stuck in the box. So there is a very deceitful energy, so be mindful. This is someone that speaks with a forked tongue. Give me, give me one moment. My battery is dying. All right, my bad. My battery is about to die. I would have did all of that for nothing. So, yeah, fire and desire. But then you have this deceit card here. So remember, that was what was stuck inside of the box. But look what you're doing here, resting and rejuvenating. And that's literally, you know, that energy of, you know, resetting, recharging, rejuvenating your spirit. I mentioned doing that, you know, that's that re-record, resetting. So let's tap in. 
So look what we have here. So there is someone that could potentially be very calculating. This is someone that's trying to sabotage perhaps some sort of connection uh, that you may have with another person. Uh, this is also saying that with the options I was hearing, one of these options is going to be a very deceptive person. And that's why energy was playing because spirit is telling you, trust what you feel, not what you think you know. Trust those red flags that you see because that's what led you down the road in the past. You didn't pay attention to them. You ignored them. And then it led to disappointment. So this time around, spirit is like, trust what you feel. The door to value is bringing in a past life love with that six, the 33, that's like the lovers. And so that is a very divine connection, a very divine union. And it is overseen by an angel. And remember, Archangel Mikael popped up in my head when I saw this 26. I always feel like Archangel Mikael is protecting uh, a sacred connection, a spiritual partnership that you have with someone whilst someone is coming in to try to distract you so off your path. So spirit is telling you, remember, energy, trust the energy. And what we have here is TLC, what about your friends? So I feel like spirit is saying that there's going to be someone that, you know, is trying to guilt trip you with what about your friends? It's like, you know, somebody is going to perhaps like, oh, you're going to forget about me? What about me? And it's like you can no longer do things to appease and please others. If it doesn't sit right, feel right in your energy, in your spirit, you have to be off that. So be true to you because someone is definitely being deceptive. This is someone who is being very cunning, very manipulative, and very calculating. They're watching you, and they're, you know, going to come in. And this is someone I feel that's um, seething. You know, this red that they're wearing, um, all this red, you know, red is the color of, like, um, Mars. So it's like anger and war. And so this is someone that's trying to bring spiritual warfare to you. So be mindful because you are here just skips, you know, skipping along through life, just living in bliss and happiness. And someone is really just sitting here seething and, and watching with all this disdain. And, and look who's, oh my goodness, look who's peeking out. Look who's peeking out from the back. Do you see who that is? Archangel Mikael. Did not just mention Archangel Mikael. And what did I say about that number 35, that eight? And I said, that's what I was feeling with Archangel Mikael, that he is protecting a union. He's here protecting it because it's right next to this ace of cups. This ace of cups is saying that spirit, this angel is the one bringing in, you know, this very divine connection, the spiritual connection. Archangel Mikael cuts you free from yokes, hex, spells. Remember, we saw banishment of hexes. So he is here protecting you from this deceptive energy. So this cunning, manipulative, calculating energy is being watched by Archangel Mikael, which means that you are protected, beloved, because this is a sacred connection and bond. He was peeking out through the back as I was speaking to him. I love it. So what is the outcome for my beloved, beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. What is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. All right, let's cut the deck. I feel good with that. So divine spirit, what messages do you have for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Bottom of the deck, attachments. So remember what we said. Now this same, look at that, 55, I mean five, and then look at this. And it got, I got to put it where it makes sense. So you see this? This is why I was saying that you have to be mindful of who you're giving your energy to because there's someone that you can have like some sort of karmic that still feels this codependency. They have some sort of attachment to you. But I feel like this is saying you're broken free because with this 44... You know, fours are associated with, you know, that angel number 444. It always speaks to angels being around you. And I feel like that eight that that 44 four breaks down to is, again, Archangel Mikael showing up to show you protect yourself, protect your heart. Move with that inner wisdom, you know, with that gumption. 
uh, because in the past you were attached, you had attachments, you had addictions, you had afflictions, you had faulty belief systems, you had fakes and snakes, you had deceptive individuals around you, and you had to heal from all of that. And that's the karmic completion. Something has come full circle. Someone may be coming back or doubling back around to try to get you to repeat this karmic lesson. And it's like once the lesson is learned, you keep it pushing. You don't repeat it. You don't learn all over again. Like you, all you'll do is you'll stay stuck in that very same spot, learning the same message lessons that you've already learned. If you pay attention to this person that has this attachment to you, this is someone from your past. Cause that 10 and five is giving me like the six, you know, the six of pentacles, someone that didn't have enough time for you, didn't make enough time for you. Perhaps this is someone who was just simply, you know, trying to double back, trying to come back to get what they feel is theirs. But look how you're protecting your heart. And it's because you know that the jig is up. Love changes. There's changes happening. And it's happening for the better. Because what you are attracting to you is so much better than what you had. You walked away from those relationships where you weren't feeling fulfilled and you were feeling emotionally bankrupt. That's why you are attracting new because you learned that you had to love you first and foremost. If you're sitting around and just accepting the bare minimums and settling for something that doesn't honor you and you're just allowing people to entrap you emotionally or manipulate you, then it's like the lesson will repeat itself until it lear it's learned. And you learned the lesson, which is why this karma completion is here. And not only did you learn the lesson, now you learn to protect your heart. So now you speak energy. That's what you speak right now. You speak energy, beloveds. So this attachment card is what came out. So I feel like, you know, that five is associated with the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is a very studious energy, as I said. This five and this ten here, this is leading you to taking a new direction because the six is giving me the six of swords so you are moving away from this heavy gloomy doomy gray circumstance and you are turning pain into power you are creating a safe space for yourself so that you can heal so that you can grow this five was a lesson learned you had to learn from what th whatever that was, whatever that attachment was. Maybe you were attached to a certain belief system or maybe you were attached to a certain picture you had in your head about your circumstance. Maybe you were attached to a person or attached to, a s you know, whatever this attachment is. It's like this is the end of that, the end of that old mindset, the end of being anchored energetically, emotionally the end of that that's powerful and what we have playing is forest and this is called rock the boat and this says 1983 and that's the same numbers that we had up here with the eight and the four so that eight and that four is 12 12 is three so i feel like what spirit is saying someone is trying to come in and rock the boat and Rock the Boat played in the past, in the last reading, if I'm not mistaken, with Aaliyah. But I feel like someone, because um, this 12, because remember, it says 1983, and we have, uh, which breaks down to 84, uh, which breaks down to 12. <laughs> and that's what we have here. So this is the 8, 26 is the 8, 57 is the 3, the 1 is the 4. So 84, that breaks down to 12. So whoever this person is, with rock the boat I feel like spirit is telling you that someone could be looking at things from a different perspective now and they don't want to rock the boat they don't want to sabotage anything I feel like what they're doing is they're making sure to address whatever they have going on because they see clearly that you're a wish fulfillment. They see clearly that you are protecting your heart. And they don't want to come in and disrupt that. They don't want to come in and perhaps rattle things 
So it's like they are learning. This is an energy of like she's taking the mask off and looking at it to re she's it's almost like she's realizing she was wearing a mask the whole time. She wasn't being her authentic self. She was living in an illusion. This is ill use of your ions, literally, this card right here. So she's looking at this mask that she's been wearing. And what you think she's going to do next? She's going to discover that there's a chain binding her, holding her there. And so what she begins to do is she will start to, whether that is seek counsel from her spirit team, her angels, ancestors, but she's going to start making the necessary changes to break free from this, which is tying her down and bolting her down. There's going to be more expression, self-expression, self-determination, self-resilience by observing, observing oneself. So this five is, that's the Hierophant, seek wise counsel. So when you seek wise counsel, you're going to gain that wisdom. You're going to gain that understanding you were seeking. Because, but this is also about introspection as well going within, learning to co-create with source, or even just, you know, discovering perhaps what your superpowers are, discovering that you're actually not attached to anything. It's all in your mind, you know, so getting out of your head and into your heart, this will also free you. You will no longer feel imprisoned. This is about loving thyself. And not loving others more than you love thyself. When you love thyself, nobody can shake, rattle, or roll you. Nobody can move you. Because you'll know who you are. And that's why she's very guarded and protective of her heart. That's why she's holding it away. She's like, look, show me. Show me. I don't care what you say. Show me. You know, this person could have gotten, you know, sweet-talked, gaslit, love-bombed. And this is just, you know, what led to, you know, this dark period. But now there's this healing that takes place secretly, privately, internally on that spiritual journey, healing at a soul level. Because this Ace of Cups is really that energy of cleansing, purging. This could also be someone realizing that whoever they were attached to was also a false person, someone wearing a mask. Someone that wasn't their true love or their divine feminine or divine masculine. So let's clarify these messages, beloved. So let's pull a message from Psychic Tarot. And we have group home, and this is called Superstar. So what did I say? Somebody sees you as a superstar, sees you in the lime light, especially with this 26. That eight is giving me like the star card. You in the spotlight, beloved. You're doing something that is garnering a lot of attention. Maybe you are working on some master plan and things are really picking up, starting to be really, really profitable. We have awareness here on the bottom of the deck. This is the magician, the magi. This is someone that knows as they thinketh, they create. Someone aware of their ability to channel, to co-create, to master manifest, to set their intention. This is someone manifesting. This is also another one. So you could have been chap, you know, channeling your inner magi and you are the one that affected this completion of the cycle by just you connecting to your higher self. That one, the, mag the magician, and that one with the base chakra, the root chakra, it's like you did the necessary work to heal, which is what brought about this completion, which is what brought you full circle to now realizing and discovering what stability looks like for you, what security looks like for you, what happy is, what family is what your independence feels like. Maybe you've always been in codependent relationships and maybe that's triggered because you grew up feeling abandoned from your mom or your dad and so you clung to your relationships to the point of codependency unbeknownst to you and now you're breaking free from that because you've gained the awareness that you 
Your independence is the foundation for your stability, for your security, for your happiness, for your peace of mind. Not someone else. You can't allow external people to validate your existence. That's what you drew the awareness of. Just how powerful you are, how magical you are. You master manifested a lot of things. And you learn to cut the things that no longer serve you. This is cutting karmic cords, yokes, hex, spells. This is you realizing the truth, the ace of swords right here. That says triumphant success. Didn't I say I saw triumphant movements forward? You could only have triumphant movements forward if you cut yourself free from that which binds you. She's chained, but this Ace of Swords, the same Ace of Swords that Archangel Mikael wields around, the same Ace of Swords that is right here. He's protecting you. He's the one that's banishing that hex that that high priest or high priestess was placing on you. This could be someone who has, again, some sort of sick attachment, codependency. This could be someone addicted to you or your energy, an energy vampire, a leech, parasite. But you're cutting yourself free. You also see the truth. This is clarity. This is illumination. This is powerful. So let's tap in. Let's clarify these messages. Beloved, so divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message for why this karmic completion is here for the overall energy spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. 51, 51 on the clock. That's 6-6. Six, six. That breaks down to 12. So we've been seeing a whole lot of 12s in this reading. And that 12, that 3, and this 5 is 8. So something is rushing in. Someone's coming in quickly. Someone does detach from something that was that they initially were attached to. I feel like there was also, you know, heavy uh, loss, pain, hurt, emotional loss, even a death. Someone could have lost a husband or lost a wife. Maybe eight years ago or maybe 2008, 2017 or something. 16, I'm getting. 2016. 2015, I'm hearing. I'm sorry. 2015, because that, that reduces to eight. But all of those numbers that I spoke, um, obviously, it, was, it wasn't accidental. So perhaps someone passed on the eighth in the eighth month, maybe on the 26th, on the 4th. Uh, I mean, uh, um on the 26th um, or the 17th on the 8th of a month. And we have what? Power, positive movements forward. I can't make this up because I did say that with this love partnership, this 26th, love, positive movements forward after going through this dark night of the soul journey. Karmic completions, are done so now you're moving ahead full steam ahead and that bird that's like right there where the sun is either rising or setting that looks like a blue heron and I saw a blue heron about four five times in two days in different you know outings so that animal totem has been showing up a lot I also saw a rabbit uh, saw bunny rabbits saw two of them back to back so I feel like for some of you all this is just speaking to as I said like powering ahead having some sort of triumphant start this is literally this one and this eight breaks down to nine so I feel like now there's a sense of like you feeling self-sufficient you loving yourself now you focusing on loving you self-love self-worth that is that is what you are mainly focusing on at this time you realize that self-love makes you more attractive and you're putting you first you're prioritizing you now and there's positive movements forward because of this newfound love and focus on the self 
We have the shadow here. And wasn't I saying that you are attracting someone that is mirroring your energy and with this 57 teaching and learning? So this could be you doing your shadow work and you discovering yourself, your authentic self. Or this could be someone who is like your cosmic companion that is observing you and seeing you in a whole new light, getting a different perspective. They're learning, they're growing, they're healing because of you. This is someone with this nine here that sees you perhaps as a wish fulfillment. That's the same number here with this one and this eight. So someone is definitely mirroring you. If you look here, we have 18 and then we have these two cards. So this is 18 and then we have karmic completion and positive movements forward. That's another 18. So literally, you know, cosmic companions, twin flames, however you want to speak it or call it, you will mirror that person. This person is obviously mirroring you. They are watching, they're observing, they're learning, hence the card. So they are mirroring your energy. They're doing their shadow work because they saw you do yours. They watched you go through some really crazy changes in your life, enormous change, and now they're confronting whatever it is that was holding them back from fulfilling their dreams, from aspiring to be their greatest versions of themselves. They're doing that shadow work. They're confronting those things now head on. So this is powerful. So why is this 57 teaching and learning here? Thank you, spirit. And we have the heart chakra, so someone does love you. That's on the bottom of the deck. That would be there for that. So the two sacral chakra. So this is someone that's definitely learning to work on themselves, work on, you know, making decisions that are best for them, best suited for them. So maybe they are learning from you uh, to express their truth because this 57 is three, this two equals five. So maybe they are learning the same as you had to learn, you know, how to get rid of certain faulty belief systems. Maybe they're learning to emote, to express themselves. Maybe they are learning, you know, to, to even discover what their life purpose, passion is. This is someone realizing that they have to move to the beats of their own drums and not fall in line. Maybe they see you as someone who's just like a radical person in a good way that you just up and make changes. Like you just moved away. You just was just, you know, swift action. Maybe you just up and moved. Maybe you relocated to a new country. Just, you just, you just, you, you, you're spontaneous and it's inspiring. It's encouraging. I feel there's distance, so this could also be motivating someone to take some sort of action as well. Or maybe there's a, a message that someone may want to uh, send, whether via text, whether via an email. Maybe even someone is scribing an actual letter. And I'm hearing that Aaliyah song, four-page letter. So someone could literally write you a four-page letter. With this five, I do feel there's communication but I feel someone's also learning because I'm getting a hierophant. So they could be seeking wise counsel or seeking advice from, you know, someone that they trust, like an elder or maternal or paternal figure. They could be asking advice. And then this is going to lead to them taking action and following what they truly desire, moving to the beat of their drum this time around, breaking free from those attachments, if there are any, even if it's mental. With this for the heart, and we're about to pull the card for how they feel about you. This is someone that does feel a lot of love. As I said, they may feel you're their wish fulfillment. With that eight and that four, remember that's what we was getting here. You know, when we saw the cards, that's 12. So this is someone who has absolutely saw the situation, observed it. They, they analyze it a gazillion times and they keep coming back to this very point that they love you that they feel these feelings that they feel these emotions that they feel this chemistry or they feel this synergy they feel this strong bond or connection they feel something is very destined with you 
because I'm getting the three and they see you as this empress, as a queen, as a goddess, as, you know, a king or a god, an emperor, you know, that divine feminine, a divine masculine. This is someone that absolutely can see themselves building with you. This is the number of the 1111, that vibration of four is the 1111 twin flame. And with this love partnership, it's because they see you as the one. This is someone that sees you as the wish. This is someone that wants to plant seeds, a nucleus, someone that's been holding on to you, holding on to this connection. This is powerful. So why is this love partnership here? And we have Road to Zion, and this is Dave, Damian Marley featuring Nas. So the Road to Zion, so this person could be definitely on the way to coming in to um, perhaps visiting you. They're traveling, perhaps. It could be distance. And we have Love Begins. I can't make this up. And this is going to clarify, you know, this is what's on the bottom of the deck when we go to clarify the, the fulfillment, the Ace of Cups. So this love begins, something is sparking, there's a new love ship. And what did I say about you taking that time to meditate, to get it straight, resting, rejuvenating? You know, this is like recharging. Remember we had that cleansing card? And Spirit was telling you it's time to go and cleanse. And I was also saying it's very important, you know, to be balanced, to be grounded, to be in harmony with yourself and not be up in your head. Because the mind is the devil's playground. So it's very important to go out so that you could ground your energy. Sitting by a body of water is also very healing, but also being amongst the trees is also equally healing because it grounds you. That water purifies and heals and rejuvenates you, but the, 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 the earth, the grass, the trees, the dirt, that grounds you, that connects you back to yourself. And so that's what you did. You know, this person sees you as very, very down to earth, very maternal, very domestic. Someone that grounds them. Someone that they feel can ground, you know, a circumstance, a relationship, a love ship. With love begins, there's new love coming in. This is not any question or shadow of doubt. With this love begins, this could even be you loving yourself so much now that you are not allowing anyone to come in and affect your mood, to distract you, to throw you off your square. It's like now you know exactly what your love language is. You know exactly what you desire, what you want, and you're calling it in. I feel you're attracting a like mind. I feel you're attracting someone who's calling in the same thing with that magician, the magi. It's like... You're manifesting this, and whoever you're attracting is manifesting this. This is like double confirmation. This is beautiful. So why is this chalice fulfillment here for what's hidden in the energy spirit? Thank you, spirit. See that emotion, emotional loss here? So this is what's hidden, is there is someone healing themselves. And this is that same five energy. Remember this? More mirroring. You got the feminine and the masculine who's doing their shadow work. And this five and five breaks down to ten. Both of you are breaking three from karmic relationships, karmic situationships, and you're healing thyself. You see he's applying his own healing hands to his heart chakra, to his wounded heart. And that is permeating through the stratosphere, the atmosphere, through the ethers, this healing. And this is rendering him a healer. Every great healer has to first heal themselves. Just like this, this person that's bound and stuck, they're doing their due diligence and they're noticing, I've been wearing a mask. This is self-reflection. This is also gaining self-awareness. This is being honest. This is taking accountability. Both of these energies are taking accountability and healing themselves, taking this healing very seriously that's what's hidden and there goes the victory i was speaking of triumphant movements forward success and victories because you've completed a karmic cycle after you complete a karmic cycle you will be rewarded your angels and your ancestors someone breaks free from these karmic cords someone breaks free from the hexes the spells someone breaks free from feeling this hurt this pain this emotional loss you break free from that. 
You're no longer bound. You're no longer stuck. You're no longer lost in emotions. So why is this five attachment here for the outcome? Let me get a message of peace power. Let me get my cards bang, bang, boogie. There goes that passion yet again. Something burning within you, letting you know that there's something greater th that awaits. There's something better than this. This doesn't, this doesn't serve your highest good. This doesn't vibrate with you. This isn't your frequency right here. And so you're searching within for those answers and you're searching and the answers start to come. This is that implosion that's happening within you, whatever that's, that's been lying dormant, whatever you've been shoving down and ignoring and quieting that voice. It's like now you can't help but to speak and live your truth. This almost looks like, you know, that phoenix rising from the ashes as well, that flame. This is your heart that's really speaking to you, following your heart. You're getting into your heart. That's beautiful. So why is this five attachment here? For the outcome, for my beloved Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Two messages. See that mental conflict? Get out of your head and get into your heart. That could also be someone who is really, um, you know, trying to choose, trying to choose between what did I say trying to choose and look what's underneath that I said that's somebody who's trying to choose and then look what's right there choose wisely and remember I told you there's going to be an option there's going to be some choices and you're going to have to choose and it's because somebody's coming back that still got some issues and look what we have here victory and success flew back out and then we have conflict and defeat so I feel like this is saying that there will be a victory and there will be success. These two people who are going through this dark period, because I feel like this is speaking to a divine feminine, a divine masculine that have been doing some shadow work. And they're slowly but surely breaking free from these karmic, these karmic cords. In fact, you are. You have already broken free because you have karmic completion. And remember, we saw completion when we first touched the deck. So you and this person are wrapping up a cycle. This is 5-5. Five, five. So you both are separately closing out karmic lessons. You're not each other's karmic. You're dealing with karmics outside of this connection. This is a new person you're attracting that's mirroring your energy. With this 5 and this 5, you both have been learning from experience. You've learned from your experiences, and that's why these fives are here. These are the hierophants. So you've been going through karmic lessons, and they've taught you to prioritize you, to love you, to put you first, same as it did your person, to ground yourselves, to heal thyself. And each, in, each one of you will have a victory. You will have victory, and you will have success. But you have to choose wisely because there's going to be some options and everything that glitters isn't gold. So choose wisely because one door could lead to a very successful outcome. Whereas the other could lead to disappointment. It could lead to you. Like I said, repeating some sort of karmic lesson It's like the lesson will repeat itself till you learn it. You've learned it. So don't go repeating it again. <laughs> so choose wisely. Take heed. Don't be stuck in two minds. Spirit is telling you what you need to do to get out of this energy. And that is be around a body of water or be around the earth, the trees. Remember, nature showed up. So get out in nature. Go to the ocean. See this big boat sitting in the ocean? Go to a body of water. Cleanse yourself. Because there are some attachments. There's some things trying to bind you, trying to hold you back. It sees how closely you are to this victory and how closely you are to having positive movements forward as well as even wish fulfillment, love. So it's like, do, you, do the necessary work, you know, do the necessary work to heal, do the necessary work so that you don't have to repeat these cycles. So let me get some messages from the um, grimoire. So what we have on the bottom of the deck was we have a star the star card so that's beautiful because I spoke to your energy 
feeling like, um, you know, that star, feeling like someone's wish fulfillment or feeling like you're manifesting some sort of wish fulfillment. Your dreams are coming true. Something's being answered for you. And it's because you took the time, you know, to heal. You took the time to recuperate from whatever past circumstances you've endured. You've taken that time to even reflect, take onus, take accountability. And that's what's led to you healing that self. When you heal that self, you love that self. When you love that self, you know that self. And now that you know that self, you know your self-worth, you know your value. You've taken the necessary every time to look at things from you know a different vantage point now you know what you deserve now you can set your intention or you can manifest what you desire so you're the alchemist someone was the magi you could be both you know and there goes that queen of cups can't make this up this is your energy even if you're a king of cups this is being emotionally intelligent this is also manifesting love this is also healing from past disappointments i feel like you are seen as someone who's who's just very well rounded, very maternal, very loving, very gentle, very nurturing, very caring of the people that you love. Someone sees you as a star, they see you as being, you know, very very inspiring. This is someone that has watched you like manifest so much in your life they've watched you just turn pain into power they've watched you own your power they've watched you co-create and they learn they learn from you this is powerful man so divine spirit of peace power and protection let's clarify these messages for our beloved scorpios divine spirit of peace power and protection Uh, spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message from my beloved Scorpios. I'm hearing one more. And we have the eight of wands. I said that. And then we got the sun here. So there's definitely some good news coming in with this eight of wands and the sun. This is bringing like happier days, better days ahead. This is also coming out of that dark night of the soul tunnel. It's like when you was going through hell, you kept going. And now you're, you're coming out of that dark period. That's that positive movements forward. That's that karmic completion. With the sun, things are going to be very happy, very bright. And I also feel this communication or some sort of forward movement, abrupt action. Something is happening quickly, swiftly. This could even be someone uh, taking action, um, maybe traveling. But let's tap it one more. Thank you, spirit. Cut this deck. Uh, spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get some messages from my beloved Scorpios. Uh, spirit, what messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Bottom of the deck will clarify the overall energy. And we have the Ace of Chalices on the bottom of the deck. Beautiful yet again. And we have the Knight of Chalices. So look at that. The Knight of Wands, Cups, and Swords, they rush in. And so I do feel like with this energy, this could just speak to, you know, maybe there is uh, just this desire to just move ahead. You know, maybe you are uh, focusing more so on self-love, and that's encouraging you to, you know, move ahead. You know, keep it moving upward and onward, um, moving forward, you know. Uh, not allowing anything to hold you back, but using that, that energy of self-love to, to motivate you towards, you know, setting a new, setting a new chapter, starting a fresh anew. Uh, with this Ace of Cups, you can see this eye is watching. So I do feel whoever this is, as I said, this could be a secret admirer. This could be someone from your past life. They do watch and admire you from a distance. But they're also, they're also learning from you because the teaching and learning. So it's like whatever you're doing, if you are in the spotlight by any means, um, this is someone that does watch. They do learn. Um, if you do not necessarily have social media, maybe this is just a secret admirer um, that has their eyes on you. 
as this eyeball. And it's like they're learning, you know, because this is a book. And there's like this eyeball just watching. So this is that person that's in this energy of the hangman just watching, you know. And they gain that epiphany, that aha, because they're going to see something. Maybe they see you as their divine counterpart. The yang to their yin, the yin to their yang with this two. Two is like duality. So they see you as their divine feminine. Someone could be communicating this truth, expressing this, maybe offering you love. Somebody could also be healing, you know, from some sort of disappointment. You know, that person that could be conflicted or dealing with some sort of attachments, codependencies, addictions. You know, but this is absolutely going to result in a victory so who is this person that our beloved scorpios are attracting to them who or what is our beloved scorpios attracting to them why is this 57 teaching and learning and sacral chakra here thank you spirit and the bottom of the deck we have the four of pentacles didn't i say someone was holding on to you you know this is someone that refuses to let you go and there is no communication which is why this five is here it's 57 breaks down to 12 that's three and this two so this is someone that does not communicate with you. There's no communication, but they desire to communicate. Like I get strongly that this person wants to communicate. And if you look at this masculine, it's like his mouth is sewed shut. So it's like they can't even find the words. See, his, see the mouth? It's almost like it's been sewed shut. Maybe this is what that high priestess was working on. Maybe someone is dealing with a witch or dealing with someone who does voodoo, juju, hoodoo. Maybe they're under some sort of binding spell. You can see there's a chalice on the nightstand. So this is someone that does love you. This is someone that does want to offer their cup. Someone who's still opened to love, but they cannot communicate or express. They, you see they're holding that same book. And remember, we saw the Ace of Chalice, and there was an eye watching, and he's holding that same book. So this is like I'm getting secret admirer here. And what we have playing right now is we have new edition and it says, is this the end? So whoever this is with, is this the end? Someone is going through uh, some sort of period where things are ending, things are, you know, wrapping up for them. And the card that flew out for you is we have the, uh, what is this? So this is the knave of wands. So I'm getting strongly like somebody is definitely, you know, coming in with a message Someone is going to communicate, and with is this the end? I feel like they're ending something before they take action because that five is also, you know, about change. Someone could be, like, leaving a situation behind. Um, maybe they are dealing with regrets, dealing with remorse, with is this the end because they're walking away from something, feeling perhaps conflicted, feeling defeated. Maybe they're stuck in two minds about walking away. Um, but I do feel that there will be some sort of epiphany uh, because this torch is lit and this 57 to 12 is giving me a sense that, you know, maybe they get motivated or inspired by watching you, you know, perhaps by seeing how you moving and shaking through life. This triggers something within them. Maybe this is just someone that isn't a secret admirer and this could just be your twin flame or a past life love and whatever you're working on intuitively energetically your person will be activated whoever is your divine counterpart with this knight of wands someone is going to take action i feel like there is going to be action because someone does feel that you ground them you balance them you bring a sense of peace perhaps to them they're learning they're learning and they are applying what they've learned they're going to be very intentional and with this four of pentacles they hold on to you you know they really you know even as i said like if there is a sense of like a past life love they've been holding on to you and they've never let you go maybe this is like you know some sort of m like uh, maybe um this could be like an album you know a picture album and they could be looking at pictures of you maybe this is just a depiction of like them reminiscing and looking back you know this is a love situation because i see that chalice on the nightstand so that lets me know that this is someone with this love partnership and this four here 
how they feel about you is they definitely, you know, they feel like you are, um, you know, kind of disconnected or, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, reserved more s in solitude. You've created a sacred pa space or you are protecting your peace. And they're just observing and watching because that eight and four reduces to 12 and they've had some sort of epiphany. It's like they sit and they hope and they wish but they have to take action. So that 12 breaks down to three. They could be strategizing. They could be strategizing because I'm getting the three of wands. They also want to build a partnership or build with you, as I said. So this is someone that is there for the long haul. Where they, they want to build. They want to collaborate. They want to cultivate. They want to nurture a relationship. They want to ground it also. They want to bring love into this equation. Why is this 26? And this four rest and rejuvenate here for how this person is that our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. And we have new edition still singing. Is this the end? So this is someone that does not want to let you go. This is someone that definitely has been holding on to you for quite some time. Thank you, spirit. With this, is this the end? It's like they don't want to let you go. We got the queen of pentacles. So that's going to be there for when we pull what's hidden in the energy. And we have the death card. See that? So this is some sort of end with is this the end and then the death card that represents some sort of ending of a situation, transformation even. You can see this door is closing. So it's like that's why they're wondering is this the end? Like have you released the chapter? This could be that karmic that has been holding on to you, holding on to a connection. And this it's like you, you, you're out, you know, you're out, you're unbothered. You're no longer allowing uh, anything or anyone from your past to distract you. It's like you are, you know, you're protecting your peace by any means, any strategy. This death card is the transformation. You've emerged someone completely different. And you've emerged as someone who loves themselves. You'll walk away from th from relationships, friendships, any dynamic where you, if you don't feel fulfilled, you've learned to to prioritize you, to put you first, with is this the end, it's like you're leaving behind anything that doesn't honor you, anything that doesn't serve your highest good. You're leaving it behind. With this queen of pentacles, it's because you've built your own stability. As I said, your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, and your happiness. And what's hidden is that's what you've learned to do. Not only did you learn to heal thyself, but you've learned to ensure your own safety, you know, your security. So you have been very practical. You've been very resourceful. You've been planting your seeds in good faith. You've been nurturing your skills. You've been masterminding and building your wealth of knowledge. And so whatever you've been working on, it's, it's only improving with time. It's only ensuring stability. It's only flourishing. It's only blossoming for you. And you are self-sufficient, independent, and that garners you to be very attractive. And there's also people who feel this emotional loss because you have, you know, refocused your energy on yourself. You've found your peace. You found your sanctuary, your safe haven. And I feel like others are deeply... Hurt they, I feel like there's this sense of, of pain because of this distance, because I get des distance. Maybe someone is recovering from, you know, breakup of a marriage even. And we have Common featuring John Legend and Bilal Faithful. So someone discovered that perhaps their wife, or their husband, their fiance, their, hus their girlfriend, boyfriend wasn't faithful because you got the Ace of Cups, the emotional loss, and then the Queen of Pentacles. So this is like a marriage. Someone realized that someone was not faithful. Someone didn't follow their common sense. Someone was giving their cup to someone else, like they were giving their, their love to someone else. Someone was also very selfish. Someone could have only been dealing with someone for money, 
for material gain, for status. Why is this chalice? Fulfillment and emotional loss here for what's hidden in the energy. Okay, so this card is stuck just like that. And so what we have is the Queen of Wands. So you see how she's sitting here like she's just bored. Someone could have been dealing with someone who could have been very me, 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 I, I, I. They could never be satisfied. Whoever this is, they were never satisfied. This is someone who really got a lot of attention and... I feel like they were not faithful in the relationship. They could have entertained someone else's interests, you know. But this this feminine energy is just giving me it. And it's like she's, she seems almost young-minded, you know. And this could have broke a masculine's heart because they were all in with this feminine energy only to discover that she was not faithful. And this could be vice versa. Maybe she was just very, like, her tongue was like it was sharp you know she spoke just reckless just said very hurtful things but someone had given their love to someone uh that didn't appreciate or value it and they could have stomped all over somebody's heart and someone had to heal from that I feel someone is currently going through that and there goes the sunshine so there is a glimmer of hope or someone is coming out of that dark tunnel that dark period because my throat is getting blocked again and um <clears throat> excuse me so someone does you know see the light the sunshine always illuminates it always brings a sense of happiness joy so someone's coming out of a dark period with perhaps you know a girlfriend that was very self-centered self-absorbed even controlling if you see there's like a dark cloud looming around this queen of wands and then those Thunderbolts denote like, you know, the conversations could have been very hostile. The way she spoke could have been very sharp. You know, she didn't speak with love. She could have been very controlling as well. She could have just went off her looks, you know, could have thought that she, you know, she felt entitled because she could, w was attractive. With this dark cloud looming over her, I just feel like that's what she brought into the situation. You know, she may have d brought a lot of dark periods even if this is a masculine who was you know bringing darkness into your life just was a cloud would always rain on your parade you could be in the best of moods this person comes around and it's like they suck the life out of life that type of energy someone always wanting to debate or argue the truth this is that energy of that person um you know that's in that secret competition that deceptive energy that I was, you know, that we saw earlier. Remember, it was sneaking, it was hidden in the box. Like it was just sneaking in the box, like it didn't want to be found. So it was like this energy doesn't want to be found out. That's the energy that's hidden. Because remember, we saw that high priestess. So someone gets discovered, like someone realizes what they're dealing with. And that cloud is like, that cloud dissipates with that, you know, that ace of swords that we saw. And so that's why someone is literally like starting to realize like, you know, they have to stop allowing, you know, their mind to play tricks on them because that's what the devil does. The devil's playground is the mind. That's why I said earlier, you got to get out of your head and get into your heart. And the best way to do that is getting out of nature. That's why you have the positive movements forward and the rest and rejuvenate to remind you of where you can reset and recharge your batteries. But this energy here, you could just see. It's like it's very heavy because they're they're up in their head. They're up in their head in, instead of in their heart. But this is really like the end of that because we got another victory card here. So this six and this one, because that five and five breaks down to seven. So this is the seven that we saw earlier. The seven is the chariot. And that's you moving ahead. Remember I said I saw you moving triumphantly, you know, and victoriously forward. That's the being more assertive. That's exactly what this is. Being more confident, getting out of your head and getting into your heart. Trusting that um, you know the best direction for you. You don't need anyone dictating, you know, and demanding anything of you. You can guide your ship where you need it to go. 
that's powerful and that's why the sun is shining bright here because it's like the the light you know the path is being lit for you and it's being lit by your guides your angels your ancestors the sun always speaks to better days ahead brighter days ahead things looking up this brings joy this brings peace happiness this is also a sign that something beautiful is about to unfold in your life and this is going to bring a lot of happiness so why is this five discontent and bored or conflict i'm sorry conflict and despair attachment and victory and success here for the outcome for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection and there goes that tower so the tower has fell the tower has been struck by the divine this is the house of lies and look what's here the empress so the empress and the tower someone is leaving this tower behind look at this i can't make this up there's a divine masculine that is breaking free see this discontent and bored and i was picking up like someone is or was in some sort of marriage so look at these cards first. You have the Empress, which can speak to uh, your energy or the Emperor could be, you know, the masculine energy. Uh, this could be their motivation to break free because the Ten of Wands, this is a heavy burden. Whatever they discovered, whatever lies, because you see he's climbing out of a mouth. So I feel like there was like a house of lies, a lot of secrets, a lot of things hidden things that someone didn't know, you know, and remember that tunnel that he's crawling out of, it looked similar to the sun card that we saw because it was like, you know, it was like he was coming out of a tunnel and I wish it would show up, but we don't see it, but you see he's climbing out of that tunnel. So that tunnel represents the mouth. There was a lot of lies that he was telling himself, a lot of lies that others were speaking to them. It's an illusion because if you look, that's that same 10 that you see with these two cards. So the lies, the trickery, the deception, the betrayals. These are the burdens someone was carrying on their shoulders because they were believing what was being told to them. It's interesting he's climbing out of a mouth. The mouth, it could represent words of love, light, encouragement, or the tongue could be a sword. It could be a weapon. So that tongue could... It could be used in many ways. And I feel the despair on this person's on this person's face tells it all. He was trapped in an illusion. He was trapped in a situation based off of how it may look or based off the false sense of security and stability. Because this 5-5 five five is not only 10, the ending, but it's also rooted, you know, the, the root chakra, it's one, reduces to one. So that's the root chakra. So that speaks to your stability, your security, your sense of family. This is all that you have learned during your formative years. And so whatever this person, whatever lies this person believed and absorbed and made their truth, they learned the hard way. They learned the hard way that that wasn't the same, that wasn't the truth for them. So they could be going through this dark night of the soul journey because whatever relationship whatever marriage whatever partnership they were a part of it's ending that fairy tale the veil that they had over their eyes it's been pulled the mask that they were wearing in that partnership they're removing it the despair that they felt because of someone's mouth being nasty remember i kept saying I was feeling like this queen of wands was just like, ugh, very nasty, you know, very nasty energy. Me, 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 I, 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 very sharp with her mouth, like just, just, just like verbally abusive. I was getting that. This could be someone's own mother. Someone could have had a mother that was very overbearing, constantly in their business, constantly in their relationships. And what we have here is the Eight of Wands. We have the moon. So those are the secrets and the lies, the gossip. And someone discovers it. That that full moon is illuminous, so that means something's coming to light. 
something's manifesting or materializing and it's bringing about this victory and the success and it's also bringing about this movement forward and someone rises like the phoenix from the ashes as well as this empress you know this divine feminine but uh, this is like the ending this is like someone finally like sticking a nail in the coffin so to speak you know because remember we did see the death card so it's like it's the karmic completion is the death the death of however this situation has been you know materializing it's like it's the death of that because this tower falls and as the dust settles you rise like the phoenix from the ashes and you take action to go after what you want or there's some swift movement and I feel like it's because you discovered wh whatever was hidden, whatever was in the dark, whatever was hidden from you. And you got the queen and the king of wands now on the bottom of the deck. So this is a suit. So you could have been dealing with someone who was also dealing with a very overbearing energy. This could even speak to you just embodying that, you know, that, uh, that fire energy, that passion is, is, you know, motivating you to move forward, to go after your dreams, you know, because that fire sign is, they're very confident, you know, they're very self-aware, they're leaders, they're bosses, they could be entrepreneurs, they make things happen, you know, they're natural born leaders. This could be someone or you, you know, could have a background in law enforcement or uh, security, maybe in the military, but this is really that energy of co-creating, of setting intention, of realizing that you are the Magi. You also uh, have the ability to tap into divine knowledge. You could be a scryer, you could be a seer, a channeler, a psychic. You get downloads, divine interventions. You're definitely um, attracting you're attracting whatever you desire to you. So mind your thoughts. Mind your thoughts. Don't be too much up in your head. Because what you think of, you create. But this is your reading, my beautiful Scorpios. I hope this message resonated for you. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like button. Hit the share. Definitely subscribe. I will that those of you that are new, that my energy vibe with yours, I will that you enjoyed this reading, that it resonated more importantly, to all, even those of you that may be new, that may not be privy, I do provide personal readings now. I wasn't for a long time, but I do now offer them. I have three different readings that I provide. I have one video uh, that's one hour. I have a two hour uh, reading, excuse me, uh, that I record on video and then I send it to you. Uh, and then I have an emergency reading which is also a one hour read. The difference between the three is the nine, uh, the n um, emergency reading, I do uh, record that within 24 hours and I send it to you. So um, that's still a one hour reading, uh, but it's just, you know, because it is an emergency reading, I will absolutely get that to you within 24 hours. The other readings that you book with me, you will get within four to five business days because I have to work on each of those readings that have been booked. So um, I also have an Etsy shop. So check out my Etsy shop. I have a little bit of everything. I have spiritual baths. I have candles. I have magic wands that I pick out when I'm on nature walks. I pick them and I, you know, I sand them down and I, I wrap them with 999.9 copper wire and some stones and beads and I just wrap it. It's all, uh, they're all uniquely made um, and they're all intentional. I do charge everything that is in my shop. I supercharge and activate every item uh, on my altars. Uh, so check me out, beloveds. Thank you so much. I don't want to shamelessly plug anything else. I just want to send you with love and light. Thank you for tuning in and tapping in. Peace.